The Filipinos are some of the warmest, most hospitable folks you'll ever meet. It's like they have a hospitality gene hard-coded into their DNA. Well, I'm back in the good old USA. And I can't stop thinking, do I want to be here? Or do I want to be here dealing with this? I had a mitigation company come in and they've got fans and dehumidifiers all over the place. Somebody in the comments of the last video said that they'd had water damage before, but it looked like a grizzly bear came in here and ripped everything apart. And I don't disagree. Everything in the ceiling just caved in. It was nasty. Uh, we've just arrived at our client, Melissa's house. She's my favorite client. Look at and she's running away. She's running away because <laughs> she, just like the Filipino girls, she's shy. Now, what do you think? We put your pond in last year, right? Yes, yes. What do you think of it? I love it. It's perfect. It's <laughs> absolutely perfect. This guy is the best. Well, thank you very much. You are. I wouldn't best. say that I'm the best. I mean, I've seen some beautiful work out there, but I try, you know, I put my heart into it and I you love do. it. You do, and it shows, and professional, and it's, it's just unbelievable. Use this guy for anything you need. <laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> Melissa. I mean it. All right, let's get to work. I won't put her to work. No, please don't. Hey, look, that's Jeff, one of the guys that works with me. Uh, odd thing about Jeff is he's married to my son's mother. And uh, you got an anniversary coming up, right? Today. Today is the anniversary. Happy anniversary, thank dude. You to my son's mother, but he's okay, he's all right. <laughs> well, so from the gist of that, you get that uh, my business is I build waterfalls, streams, fountains, and koi ponds. And uh, today is a beautiful place to work. It's amazing up on this hill. I know this video is a little different than the last one that I put up. Since I'm no longer in the Philippines and I have all of this to deal with, it's hell back here. First off, I have to say, last week I had 500 subscribers and I was so excited that I reached that pinnacle. But now I'm at 1,300 subscribers. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate you and I look forward to getting to know you. And if there's anything you want to know from me, please go ahead and ask. And that's kind of why I posted this one because I got a bunch of questions about, hey, what do you do for a living? Uh, what are you doing uh, to get back to the Philippines? Things like that. Well, of course, I've got to work. And now I got to get this house fixed. I almost have to completely redo the entire bottom floor. The whole living room floor, the bedroom floor, the bottom of the walls. As you can see, that's right into my bedroom back there. But I do want to talk about the Philippines. So again, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, share. I'd love to hear from you. So now that my mind is always on the Philippines. And first and foremost, it's the people. The Filipinos are some of the warmest, most hospitable folks you'll ever meet. It's like they have a hospitality gene hard-coded into their DNA. You walk down the street, strangers treat you like family. So be sure, if you plan on traveling to the Philippines, remember, we are guests here. And first and foremost, we need to treat everybody that lives here with respect. Cultures are different. Customs are different. We don't need to bring any of our baggage, our drama, our drugs, you know, going out and drinking. Nothing wrong with a drink every once in a while, you know that. Just don't get fit chased and make an ass out of yourself in public because it's not gonna turn out well for you. And especially, if this is why you're coming, treat the ladies with respect. They're great women. And I know a lot of you are running away from the women in your own countries. Don't turn these girls into them as well. That would be horrible. Because the Filipino people are incredible. They'll invite you into their homes, feed you until you can't move, and most of the time, send you off with plenty of food. It's like living in a never-ending episode of Welcome to the Family. Speaking of culture, we can add food to that as well, and the food is delicious. Good Filipino cuisine is like a flavor explosion in your mouth. You got adobo, sizzig, lechong. Don't get me started on lechong. It's like a big party in your belly. And yes, everyone's invited. But hey, fair warning. If you're not used to eating with your hands, you might end up wearing your meal like a badge of honor. Oh, and if you're into sightseeing, here's something that might make you take a double take. The Philippines has an island within a lake, within an island, within a lake, within an island. I know it sounds something like straight out of a Russian doll nesting nightmare, but hey, if you ever need a break from reality, just hop on over to, to all volcano. That's a mouthful. Really, really thank you very much for subscribing. 
I don't know if you're just tuning in for just one specific thing. I'm just not a niche guy. I think like all of us, you included, have many facets to you. So together, I'll share what I think is interesting and you share with me what you think is interesting. I'd love to hear from you. And if you've missed any of the other videos, here you go, here you go. I don't, I don't know where it is, but please click. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Thanks. And don't forget to become a member of the Fish Militia.